Before we get into the video, I just wanted to pop on here real fast and let you all know that you can now use my discount code SPRING15 for 15% off your entire order on my online store. So if you're interested in ordering something handmade, I'll go ahead and leave a link for that down below in the description and let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my weekly videos. And if you guys are not already subscribed, please take a moment to hit that button down below and help your girl out. I'm trying to grow this channel and grow with you guys. So I would love it if you guys could join my little crochet family and come along with me on this journey. And let's get into the video. Hey guys, and welcome back to this week's video. In my most recent vlog, I've mentioned how I want to start doing more of these face-to-face -face type of videos instead of my old school top-down view for my DIYs. I don't want my videos to become too repetitive for you guys, so I'm trying out this new style. Let me know if you guys like these. But to kick off my very first sit down with me video, I actually wanted to reach into my yarn stash and I'll finally be using a yarn that I showcased recently in my previous yarn haul video. And in that video, I believe I mentioned that I wanted to make an off the shoulder type of crop top. So I'm gonna give it a go with this yarn. And the only trick with this yarn really is that it has an alternating thickness. So at one point the yarn reaches a thickness where you could use uh, a six millimeter crochet hook and then it'll change up to this very thin yarn that you probably need, I don't know, a four millimeter or three millimeter hook. But my goal for this video is to whip up a pretty quick and easy pattern for this shirt or for this crop top and give you guys more of a personal experience um, and you guys can kind of see how I work through making my tops when I'm alone here at home and my battery's about to die. So that's perfect timing. Okay, perfect. We're back and our battery is charged. So like I mentioned before, I'll be using this very textured yarn by Universal Yarn. And I have two hanks of this, but I'm hoping that I only need to use one. I really want to reserve this hank to do some knitting with, but if I have to dip into that one, I will. And I have a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to try to make it work with this. And believe it or not, I'll be changing up my hook size again. I'll be using a 5.5 millimeter instead of my usual five mil. So to start my top, I think I'm going to start at the upper portion. And I think I want to create a chain that's going to wrap around my lower shoulders very loosely. So I'm just gonna start off with my slip knot. Oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? I already know this yarn is gonna be a mission to work with. But anyways, I'm just gonna start chaining. Oh my God, this is actually, this is actually a little bit more difficult to work with than I thought it was gonna be. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. This is gonna be a pretty interesting looking top. I'm over it. When will the chain be long enough? I don't think it's there yet, but I'm gonna try to measure it. Does this look right? All right, I think I've got my chain just long enough, but I've wrapped it around. All right, that seems to be a good starting point, I think. Shit, I don't know. Now that I have my chain all figured out, I'm gonna try to straighten out my chain to keep it from twisting and turning on me. So now I'm pretty much just gonna slip stitch those two ends together to form a circle. So now I'll be crocheting in the round and working top down. In theory, this top seems pretty easy to make. I'm pretty much just gonna be crocheting in the round and continually adding rows. So once I've slip stitched the ends together, I'm going to chain two and then work one half double crochet into each stitch in the round. So let's see how this starts to look after a row or two, but at least I'm using up my yarn stash, right guys? All my knitters and crocheters out there, I know that we both know how bad our yarn stashes can get. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for minimizing my yarn stash. Are you guys proud of me? Hey guys, so I'm back and as you can probably tell, I had to start all over. But after I made my initial chain, because the texture of the yarn changes up so much, the yarn twisted up way too easy and ended up creating a knot. So I had to start all over. So I had to try a different approach this time. Instead of creating a super long chain and slip stitching the ends together to make a round, I actually just pulled it all apart and started over by making a foundation half double crochet. And now that I've made the foundation chain, it's really easy to tell if it's gotten twisted or if it's flat and straight. Now I can slip stitch the two ends together and make it into a round. Finally. And from this point, I can chain two. And I'm just gonna be placing one half double crochet into each stitch in the round. 
and I'll come back and check in with you guys once I get probably this much of the sleeve done. And sadly, we have lost a fellow soldier. So I have a funny gut feeling that this project is gonna take me longer than I originally thought, as do all my projects. But I'm hoping now that I have that foundation chain all completed, the rest of this project will go by pretty fast. So yeah guys, don't be fooled. Just because I am a veteran crocheter, I have to start projects over all the time like this one. So this right here is pretty much my last stitch in the row and I'm just gonna slip stitch into this open gap where my first stitch is. And now I have pretty much my second row completed. Oh, hell yeah. Babe, does it look like a shirt? <laughs> look, it's a shirt, kind of. I think I'm gonna add one or two more rows on the sleeves and then I'll start on the body. All right, so real quickly, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys how I'm doing the next part of the top. But anyways, I've done about four rows in the round of the half double crochet, and here's where I'm gonna stop and start working on the armhole section. And what I've done is I've counted out about 10 stitches from the corner of the top and placed a stitch marker through both the front and the back pieces. And I repeated that on both sides. So where my stitch marker is placed, I'm gonna attach my yarn and chain about 15 or 20 stitches and then I'm going to slip stitch it to the back panel. So just a quick update for you guys. I have attached my yarn where those stitch markers were and I've created that chain and slip stitched it to the other side of my work. <gasps> Do it quick. <laughs> I can't with all those crinkles. <laughs> But I figured that I'll never really end up with unique pieces if I don't step out of my comfort zone and do something that's a little bit different from my norm. And I guess I'm starting to learn that about myself as well, that if I continue on with the same routine, I'll never really get anywhere other than the same place that I've always been. In order to grow, you need to change. And for me, that's with crafts and creating and crocheting. No, Mowgli, I didn't say you, I said me. Away, it's my food. Oh. Ah. All right, so it's slowly starting to come together. You can see my little chain sections here. This is gonna be where my armhole goes. And once I work a couple more rows down here, you'll start to see the top come together. All right, so the top is obviously not done yet, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like on so far. And I think it looks pretty damn cute. So I think the armholes turned out pretty okay. There's enough space there. And I did want the shirt kind of baggy. I didn't want it to be like super tight on me, but that would actually be a really cute look too. But I think I'm gonna have to dip into my other skein and I'm gonna add on probably double this. So add on a few more rows and then I'll check back in with you guys and show you what the completed top looks like. But look how cute this looks. Here's what the yarn looks like in natural light. Hey guys, so clearly it has been a few days later. So I'm back now and I'm coming back to my piece and I think this is where I've left off the last time I talked to you guys. And also if you guys couldn't tell, I have a little bit of a head cold and a runny nose. So if my voice sounds a little funky, I'm sorry. <laughs> So yeah, anyways, um, I'm just gonna pick up where I've left off on my top and just continue to add more half double crochets in the round. I'm just adding length to the top at this point. Okay guys, so I think I'm back for my very last update. I don't wanna add too many more rows to this because I wanna keep it crop top style. I think the top is done and I am so happy with this outcome. I haven't even really put it on yet but I absolutely love this texture. Like we love her, we love this. This is unlike anything I've made before. And excuse me if I'm raving too much about this top or this yarn, but I've really never worked with anything that was this unique before. I usually stick to very safe yarns and basic yarns. 
So this is the first time I've actually stepped out of my comfort zone. I have tried hand dyed yarns before, but again, nothing with texture like this, nothing that kind of stands out like this. This is so cool. And then I'll go ahead and throw it on. I picked out some really simple outfits to throw it on with that I think the top would look well with. All right, enough talking, let's try it on and see how it looks. So I've obviously made this as an off-shoulder type of crop top, but because I made the shirt loose enough, I can also kind of just like wear it up as a tank like that. That's kind of cute too. Screw it, why not? Wow, this is so cute. Okay, so I kind of just paired it with some, some boot cut jeans to show you this is like one way I'd probably wear it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm so happy with this, this is so cute. And this is just in time for summer. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. So I know the pattern of the skirt doesn't really go with this top, but just to show you guys an outfit idea, I would definitely wear this loose crop top with like a more fitted skirt like this up top. I think it looks super flattering, looks kind of sexy. And most days when I'm not filming, I wear pretty unisex baggy clothing. So it's nice to kind of dress up and feel feminine every once in a while. And this top, oh God. This top makes me feel way more feminine and girly, which I really like. I don't know, it's really fun to create things that, I don't know, like move you and make you feel a type of way. And she definitely makes me feel a type of way. <laughs> All right, and for my very last like little showcase outfit would be some really loose boyfriend baggy jeans. I don't know, tell me this isn't a vibe. Tell me this isn't a look. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough rambling for me. I'm just gonna wrap up this video, but thank you guys for tuning in for this week's video and just kind of crocheting along with me. I hope you guys really enjoy these kind of sit down videos. But if you guys would like to see more of these type of videos, please let me know down in the comments. And thank you guys again. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.